1. Just as a thing made of gold ever has the nature of gold, so also a being born of Brahman has always the nature of Brahman. 2. Fear is attributed to the ignorant one who rests after making even the slightest distinction between the Jivatman and the Paramatman. 3. When duality appears through ignorance, one sees another. But when everything becomes identified with the Atman, one does not perceive another even in the least. 4. In that state when one realizes all is identified with the Atman, there arises neither delusion nor sorrow, in consequence of the absence of duality. 5. The Shruti in the form of the Brihadaranyaka has declared that this Atman, which is the self of all, is verily Brahman. 6. This world, though an object of our daily experience and serving all practical purposes, is, like the dream world, of the nature of non-existence, and as much as it is contradicted the next moment. 7. The dream experience is unreal in waking, whereas the waking experience is absent in dream. Both, however, are non-existent in deep sleep which, again, is not experienced in either. 8. Thus all the three states are unreal and as much as they are the creation of the three gunas but their witness the reality behind them is, beyond all goodness, eternal, one, and is consciousness itself. 9. Just as after the illusion has gone, one is no more deluded to see a jar in earth or silver in the nature. So does one no more see Jiva in Brahman when the latter is realized as one's own self? 10. Just as earth is described as a jar, gold as an ear ring, and a nacre as silver, so is Brahman described as Jiva.